Watch time is over. What's that? In case, man. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. <laughs> What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, this is Shits Creek, Season 2, Episode 12, I think, th Episode 13, Happy Anniversary. Uh, is that going to be the wedding anniversary for Johnny and Moira? Is it, uh, it's not the anniversary of when they moved to the town, because that's like, um, they said they'd been there for like a year and a half, I think. If you want early access to my Shits Creek, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, movie reactions, Taskmaster, a whole bunch of other stuff, go to patreon.com slash fwci, that's where you can get it. And subscribe here on YouTube as well. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button, it goes a long way, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, but yeah, the last time we saw uh, the, um, the campaign for council person is Moira's for the taking now basically Jocelyn pulled out of that David just got 40 grand for helping uh, less uh, three manicures um, for helping um, what's her name the uh, the woman at the blouse barn which I loved that whole story Alexis lended a little bit of help in that situation as well so they're in a bit of a good place at the moment as as far as all things considered so let's see what happy anniversary is all about Kids, it happens to be our anniversary today, so it might be a nice idea if you wished your mother a happy anniversary. Okay. Um, what would you like us to say? Well, you could start by saying <laughs> happy anniversary. <laughs> mm, okay, but why are we wishing her a happy anniversary? I always thought this was weird as well, to be honest. You know, the Bloomfield kids used to throw their parents an anniversary party every year. Mm-hmm. Um, if we're truth-telling, the Bloomfields were always a little too friendly with one another. I just don't understand what kind of family. Happy anniversary! Congratulations on your ongoing love for one another. You did it. Okay, kids, that's enough. You sound like the incestuous Bloomfields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were right, Johnny. They were right. Well, then, I guess you don't want your present then, huh? How the hell do they know it's their anniversary? No, there's there's no catch. It's every new council member gets a dinner, so. Oh, a very civilized. It is. Thank you, Roland. We accept. Terrific. So uh, we'll pick you up around seven. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, it would be fun if today were not our anniversary. Oh, okay. That's what they were offering for. Okay, I understand now. I understand. Well, you know, the coupon expires in three weeks, so... Okay, all right. Let it go. You have fun, you guys. Okay. Okay? Bye-bye now. Bye! Boy. What is Moira wearing, by the way? She looks like a... Amish... priest. I don't know. Is Amish a religion, or... Is that a thing? When Stevie Budd was voted most likely to get the guy. Oh... Whoa! You were Mr. Popular. <laughs> I will have you know that that headshot got me a two-episode arc on a TV series. What series? Dateline. I played a boy who got abducted from a grocery store. <laughs> this was so riveting, people thought I actually was the Value Mart victim. <laughs> wow, what a riveting performance. The big soiree at Mutt's tonight. I figured that you would need ample time to get ready. Soiree and Alexis wasn't invited? I'm sure you're invited. Yeah, no, yeah, no, why wouldn't I be? Um, were you invited? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's just. Oh, and Mutt doesn't even like him. <laughs> Happy anniversary, oh, sweetheart. Darling, what a sweet gesture and a precursor, no doubt, to something more grand planned. Uh oh. Something more grand? Oh, no. Oh, knowing your penchant for surprises. I'm guessing you have something else up your sleeve. AKA, Johnny, you better have something else up your sleeve, otherwise Moira is gonna have your neck. <laughs> the one that Roland and Jocelyn just told us about? Yes, yes, but who knew they were asking us tonight? Just the two of us. Mm-hmm. Okay, it'll just be a few minutes. Thank you. <sighs> Moira? Beth? Dawn! Whoa. Who is this? Oh no. Jocelyn and Roland are gonna show up and see them dining with these guys. 
You must join us. Join us for dinner. Mm -hmm. That would be oh. great. Oh, Johnny, you are in it now. Roland is not going to like this. We're dying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and the coupon will go unused. Oh, David got invited? It's nice to meet you, handsome. Jake and David. Oh, hello, Stevie. Wow, look at you. She looks good. So I have a certain high school reputation I need to live up to. Mm -hmm. yeah, and good luck with that. <laughs> um, speaking of sexual popularity. Does that just mean she wants to bang him or she's just trying to find uh, the right husband, lover, soulmate, everything? Having swam in both ponds, I can say that I might be able to navigate those waters a little bit better than you. Mm hmm Wow. Oh, God, what is happening here? Jake, what is going... What is your night going to be? All right, Stevie. I see you. Oh, and now, don't throw me under the bus. It was Borden who started it all. Borden Simons? It's like old home week. <laughs> <laughs> Borden Simons? <laughs> These guys are in their element right now. Cheers. 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 There it is, right on cue. Are we intruding? Because before you were saying that you didn't want to go out tonight, so... No, no, we, 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 uh, you can certainly uh, join us if you don't have your own table. Well, you have got no radar for this situation. Oh, hey, Alexis is looking good as well. Jesus, they rolled out the red carpet for him in this one. You're awfully dolled up for a puppet. <laughs> oh my God, stop it, basically. Came from work. Babe, your stove's being testy again. Should I just serve the cider cold? Oh, Mrs. Mutt. It's so nice to finally meet you. Mutt's told me so much about you. <clears throat> the way he... <laughs> I bet he has. You're like a poem too. Like a really pretty poem. Or like <laughs> a mermaid or something. <laughs> Might you're growing back your beard. Yeah. Yeah, he is too. She likes it. Oh, screw you, Mutt. She's cute. She is cute, but <laughs> that was awkward. Where are you living now, Moira? Tell us all about it. Oh, we're in a rustic mm. ranch style bungalow. Bungalow. <laughs> Plenty of parking and uh, TV in every room. Oh. How many bedrooms? Thank you, Jocelyn. It must be a nightmare to clean. Um, Stevie does an adequate job. <laughs> oh my God. On our way here, we drove through a town not a word of a lie called Shits Down. Oh, no, it was called Shitsville. Oh, no, guys. Oh, Jesus. Let's not go for the low hanging fruit here, Don. Okay. No, these are funny jokes. Please continue, Don. You see? Roland gets it. He is kind of shitting on, no pun intended, the. Um, like the town that Roland is named after <laughs> as well, like. When I had to go on our honeymoon without you, the zipline instructor at the Los Pasiones Couples Resort told me that <laughs> I just gotta get through it. <laughs> That's great advice, thank you zipline instructor. I'm sorry. It's okay. Staff dance? Yes. What's going on there? I, 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 I like with it together, Ted, but I still find it weird that he would be in Shit's Creek at all. <laughs> you here with Stevie? I am. Yeah. Okay. Not here with. No, we're not together. I'm very much single, so. You want to get some air? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of conveniently highly attractive people in this town. <laughs> what do you even call someone from Shitsville? A shitter? A shithead? <laughs> okay, you know what? John. John. Oh. John, he's gonna stand up for him. And all you two have done is complain about the food and pretend that you didn't leave us high and dry after we lost everything. Oh. Yeah, okay, good point. Roland and Jocelyn here could not have been more generous with what little they have. They've invited us to their parties. That's all true as well. And that town you pass through, it's not called Shitsville. It's called Shits Creek. And it's where we live. 
Good work, Johnny. Oh my god, I'm getting like into this. Like this is giving me teary eyes. <laughs> it's great to see him stand up for the town, you know? I don't really drink wine. More of a beer guy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Help me much. What does that mean? <laughs> the wood shop. I make furniture. Ah, yeah. No, I did a lot of um Is this guy super straight? What's going on here? He drinks beer, wood shop, I mean... That's, the lesson is just not to nail stuff. Or is, is that the message they're trying to get across? That even a blokey, duty bloke might still be gay? What are you doing, Stevie? Who are you with? Oh, Twyla, hello. Some townies were trying to get us high and we didn't want to offend them. Didn't want to burn a bridge. She looks... Wrecked, by the way. What makes you think that? Because we just necked out behind the barn. <laughs> what makes you think that? Because we put our mouths together. Yeah, because it did happen. I kissed him too. Really? Well, when would you have had time to do that? Stevie, you're <laughs> such a liar. <laughs> Like hey! <laughs> Tonight we are dancing as a family. What is happening? <laughs> okay, that's big for them as well. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> what is Eugene doing there? This is a great finale. This feels like a final episode ever kind of finale. That's a very, very, very sweet end to that episode. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit choked up there at the end and when um, Johnny started defending the town to the, uh, you know, hoity-toity friends from their past, that was a big moment. I didn't see that coming at all. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I should have been a bit more on my guard with the um, that storyline with them at the restaurant. But that was a really, really sweet end. And like I say, that felt like it was very kind of final. And hey, and here's a nice little ending for everybody. Like, there was no real cliffhanger for like the next season or anything like that. Just a really nice, feel-good kind of ending. It didn't really set up anything for the next season. But we're going to keep rolling through with it i love schitt's creek i'm i'm really digging these characters more and more johnny again standing up in this episode was uh, a very significant moment for me eugene levy is i mean he's such a different kind of funny in this than he is in you know his heyday of movies in like you know the 90s and 2000s and stuff like that and he's really starting to grow on me i'm still i'm really starting to buy him as johnny rose former billionaire or whatever he is but let me know in the comments what you thought about this one does this episode get you choked up as well or was that just me don't forget to subscribe here on youtube and uh, go to patreon.com slash fwci for early access to future reactions to this show and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace